Hello, this is Poonam, technical support expert for Palicon. In the earlier video, we had seen how to pre-process the content, which is the first step in applying forensic watermark. In this video, I'll walk you through the next step, that is watermark embedding. The EB variant of the video are combined in real time when the playback is requested. It converts session information to binary format and composes the output stream by mixing segments from the A and B versions accordingly. As a result, a unique playback session is sent to each user. To start with the integration, as described in our guide, you need to create an IAM role and provide the necessary permissions and edit the trust relationship for the same. Once that is done, let's start creating a Lambda Edge function on the AWS console. Select the Lambda service and ensure that the region is set to North Virginia. This Lambda Edge function should be created in the North Virginia region only. You need to update the information over here, that is the function name, which is any unique name for the function. Let the runtime be Node.js 16.x. In the default execution role, select Use an existing role and choose the IAM role that was created earlier. Once all these details are provided, click Create Function. Now that the Lambda Edge function is created, we will go ahead with uploading the code. Click Upload from a zip file and upload the forensic watermarking CDN embedder sample code provided on our downloads page. Once the upload is completed successfully, Update the config.json file. Here, the AES key is the site key value for your account. Type is unlabeled A variant by default. Available interval is the value used for checking the validity of the timestamp. If it is set to 0, the timestamp validity of the period is not checked. For this demo purpose, we will set it to 0. Now deploy and save the changes. Once the changes are saved, you need to publish a new version of this code. Now let's go ahead and link this Lambda Edge function with a CloudFront distribution. Select CloudFront service and start creating a CloudFront distribution. Here you need to update the origin domain which is our S3 bucket where the output of the packaging job is stored. The remaining settings would be the default settings. Under the Functions Association tab, now to link the Lambda Edge function that we created, change the viewer request to Lambda Edge and provide the ARN of the Lambda Edge function that we created. Once all these details are provided, click Create Distribution. Let's wait till the status of this is changed to a deployed state. Status of the CloudFront distribution is now deployed. Let's go ahead with the next step that is the Session Manager API which generates mixed content URL which has information about the playback session. You can find the API specification on this page below. Step by step guide is provided for generating the request data for the Session URL API. Sample code for the same is provided in Python and Java language on our sample downloads page. In this video, we'll go ahead with using the Python sample code for generating the API data.
Here in this code, we need to update the JSON data where domain is the CloudFront domain, output path is the output path that was entered when requesting watermark packaging, CID is the content ID that was provided while packaging the content. Streaming format could either be DASH or HLS. Forensic mark is the session data that needs to be inserted as watermark. This can be the end user ID, device information, etc. The WMT type, keep it as default value that is AES when the CloudFront integration is used. You need to provide your site ID, site key and access key information as well. Once all these details are provided, let's execute this code. This is the final combined API URL that has the site ID and the API data appended to it. This is the response received from the server, which has the content URL that can be used for playback of the watermark content. You can test the playback of this on any player of your choice. Please check our next video for more information on the watermark detection service.